two. So here's what I do. You kind of go through. There's CO. I start at the overall and I find where do those exist down below. Okay? So make an identifying marks with different colors or just different symbols or whatever. There's CO. Where else is it? Oh, here. Right? Those two, okay. And now we do it the same for H2. H2 is here and here. And I think that's it. CH4 is here and here. CO2 Uh, CO2 is here, and is that it? Oh, at the bottom, thanks. Okay, there's CO2 and H2O. Right here, and here. Okay, this one's going to be slightly more painful. Uh, usually what I do is look to see what's marked only once down here. So for example, CO is marked twice here. And H2 is marked twice. And CH4 is marked twice. And CO2 is marked twice. And water is marked twice. That, that makes it much more difficult. Because usually there's one that's just marked once and that's the place you'd want to start. Okay, so we got to figure out how to do this. So first, let's figure out what's the intermediate. If you're intermediate, so what does not appear in the overall reaction? So it has to be carbon that appears twice. O2 is all over the place, four times. Those are both intermediates, so they're not going to appear in the overall. They must cancel at the end for me to do this right. Okay. Since this one's got a little crazy, I'm just going to have to guess sort of where to start. So I will just start with the CO for no better place to start than that. Um, so what I'm going to do, I want CO in the reactants. So I'm actually going to flip this top one. And CO2. It's right where I want it to be, so that's good. Uh, so yeah, if I flip the top ones, and I'll hopefully everything else will cancel out. Like if I don't flip this one later, the, and I flip the first one, the carbons will cancel. So I'm going to flip the first one. Uh, so I flip it by multiplying by a minus one. I might change my mind later. So that puts a minus right there. So that gives me uh, how many COs? Two COs in the reactants. I'm really going to need four. So one of these I'll have to change. I don't know which one I want to change yet. Okay, what else do I have? If I leave this as is, there's one CO here, but there's also one here. So that's not going to add up to one exactly. So I'll need to multiply something. I'm not sure which one I want to multiply yet. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is also, so you might be wondering, oh, how do you know what you're going to do next? No, I don't, I'm just guessing, okay? When there's not just one underlined at a time, you just got to try stuff until you get them all to work out. So, yeah, you picked a really hard one, actually, which is totally fine. So we're going to, what I'm also going to do now Let's see, we got the COs here. I don't know how many to multiply this by to get just one yet. I, I'm just unsure. And I'm unsure how many to multiply this by to get the four COs. Like, do I multiply two and two, or one and four, or whatever. So I'm totally unsure, so I'm not going to mess with that yet. I'll figure it out later. So what I do want to do 
I think I'm going to flip this reaction here on the very bottom to get both of the CH4s over here. Just try that. I might change my mind later. Okay, so I'm going to flip the bottom one by minus 1. And that will give me a minus delta H5 on the bottom. <coughs> 